So con considering um, injecting um, visco supplement or high molecular weight hyaluronic acid uh, for patients with knee pain, um, patients who have knee pain that's caused by arthritis, which is um, wear and tear of the cartilage in the knee, um, often get treated with medication, um, the usual things, anti-inflammatories, codeine, paracetamol, things like that. Sometimes they have simple injections of steroid into the knee um, and where that's effective, uh, the next step is to consider um, injecting uh, a substance called visco supplement. Lots of different names for that, visco supplementation, high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, uh, visco supplement, there's lots of different types, austenil, um, synvisc, uh, Duralane, and basically they are a synthetic form of the fluid that's already in the joint. For the procedure, the patient will come into the clinic. It can be done as a walk-in, walk-out procedure. It can be done um, under local anaesthetic. It can, we identify the knee joint either under ultrasound or under x-ray. Um, we clean up the knee. Um, Sterility is absolutely vitally important whenever you're injecting in or around a, a joint. Um, we put some local anaesthetic in the skin. We put a very, very small thin needle into the middle of the joint. When we're happy with the X-ray and ultrasound that we're in the middle of the joint, we will then administer the visco supplement. Um, patients can feel a little bit of fullness um, in the knee uh, when that goes in. Generally, it's not uh, too uncomfortable. Um, the way in which the visco supplement is thought to work is uh, two major ways. The first way is that by injecting uh, this substance into the joint itself, first of all, it creates a physical barrier um, and it reduces some of the inflammation on either side of the joint. The second way is that there are some properties of the substance which are thought to help um, to create more fluid or make the body create more uh, synovial fluid itself. Um, the procedure is otherwise very safe. As with all procedures, there are benefits and risks. The benefits of pain relief takes approximately 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Risks, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort, which are all minimal. Uh, one of the major problems we do worry about is leakage of the uh, substance out of the knee joint. Uh, if that does happen, it can be very irritant to the tissues around the knee joint and it can be very uncomfortable. For that reason, we always do this procedure with ultrasound or x-ray guidance and we never do it uh, in a blind manner.